Welcome back guys, it's Vengeance Hero, and you're joining me for another Spooktober video. We are going to be playing the newly released Mortuary Assistant demo. Um, so if you guys remember, about a week ago I played the, it was kind of like a teaser, it was about 10 minutes. This seems to be more, uh, I'm going to say more involved on the gameplay side of it, so what you're doing outside of, of the actual horror side of it. Um, so we are going to jump right in as always, um, but before we do that, I'd like to remind you guys to hit that like button if you enjoy the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future episodes. And without further ado, we are going to jump right in. And from the sound of it, this is going to be more like the actual start of the game. That's not a big deal. No, I know. It, it wasn't even my fault, but he sent me home right after that. I'm just really worried. He's supposed to finalize my stuff today. And he said he would, right? Ooh, got that nice Sorny TV. So, that's a good thing. Yeah, it just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, like he just said it to get me out of the building. Uh, wait a sec, I have another call. Hello? Hey, Rebecca. It's Raymond. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, just... No, no. Uh, I wanted to apologize. You've done a fantastic job. I'm just not feeling too well. Hmm. That's uh, actually why I'm calling. I know it's late, but we just got three new cadavers, and no one else can make it in right now. I was hoping you could come in and take care of them. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> Great. Uh, thank you. I I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Thanks again. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Holy shit. That was him. He signed me on. He needs me to come in tonight. <gasps> see? I told you it was fine. Oh, it's not going to be fine. God damn. Thanks. I have to go. Like, right now. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Where are my keys? Okay, so... Death and Decay, a book covering the process and science of decomposition. I do really like this. When you pick stuff up, you've got this new... Um, new text box at the, at the bottom. It's really cool. Embalm, a book about the history of preservation and how people use it to cope with death. Got our, uh, ooh, donut stuff. Yeet! Oh, wow, you can actually pick stuff up. That's cool. Got that new Sorny Vega. Oh, wow. Okay. So far, this seems like a, a huge improvement. Happy Tofu. Wolfios, at least there's some food in here. Sounds disgusting. Okuos? It supposedly doesn't have bees in it, but they keep putting it on the box that it's got bees in it. Okay. Interesting. Where got it. Are my, where are my keys? Oh, we gotta get our keys first. If I were a set of keys, where would I be? Maybe in here? No. Not in the microwave. Oh, goddamn. Good thing it didn't break. I mean, if I were a set of keys, I would think I would be right there. And maybe you can open some of these things? No. Can't open those things. Not 
not in there. These are like all... Oh. Can open these drawers. Okay. So maybe there is other stuff that I can open? Grandma. Well, I mean, that's, that's cool and all, but... How about like showing me where the keys are? That would be that'd be great. I think I can crouch, can't I? Maybe. Oh, there's more drawers. Keys. Okay. Keys to the apartment car in the front door of River Fields. Well. Wow. Where are my where are my where are my where are no. my keys? I I, I I picked up the keys. But I picked them up. Where are my keys? God, I lose those. Uh, but I, but I have the Where keys. Where are my keys? God, I lose those. But I, what? Where did the keys go? Where are my keys? Where are my keys? God, I lose those. You, you would think they would be in there, but. Did I not pick them up? Oh, E to pick them up. Oh my god. Lord help us. Oh wow, this looks nice. Doesn't look like we can close the door behind us. Oh well. Alright, I guess I'll head to the back and get started. Raymond Delver, head mortician, Riverfields Mortuary. Mr. Delver's business cards. Got some hard candies on the... I mean, that's not sanitary. God damn. Pick up the calculator. Oh. E to pick up. Key to the embalming. Oh, quick inventory. You can attempt to use items at any time. Access quick inventory and choose the item you wish to use. Most, but not all, places where items can be used will cause the use item icon to appear. Right mouse button. Oh, wow. Okay. That's cool. So smooth. All right, clipboard. A clipboard used for forms and keeping track of my mortuary tasks. We're definitely going to need keep that. Track of things. Space. Return body to cold storage. Rebecca, thank you for coming in on such short notice. The body currently in the embalming room is done, so please return it to cold storage and get started on the next one. I've left the key to the embalming room in the top drawer of the front desk. Raymond. P.S. Don't forget your clipboard. I haven't. I won't. I didn't. I already got it. Okay. So definitely you can see there's going to be some different mechanics. Like the cleaning solution for the embalming tank. Which is very interesting. And so, so this hallway looks similar to the start of the teaser demo. Although it was a little bit sh different. There was like a uh, like a cabinet here or something. Oh wow, okay. That gets really loud. So it looks similar. This this all looks similar. Oh, hey, hey man. Okay, this looks very different. So we now have a desk. And this is what I saw in the um, the actual video trailer. Was like you can actually go in and... and fill in reports and stuff, which was really cool. Ooh, what do we have here? An old key that belongs to Mr. Delver. Keep that. He might not be too happy with that, though. Okay. So... These are all just supply cabinets. So what are we supposed to do? Take the 
Raymond Delver. Oh my god, he looks like a psycho. Here's my badge. Yep. Rebecca Owens, Riverfields Mortuary, Apprentice Mortician, Limited Access. Hello? What the fuck is that? What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Did all these- oh, all of these things just fucking opened. Okay. Hell no, we are not opening that. Fuck that. Fuck all that. Okay. Use, leave gurney. Okay. So I'm assuming I have to take it back here somewhere. Uh, so this would be the uh, cremation chamber. Oh shit, that was super loud. Uh, what do you call it? I don't know. It's a, a pizza oven, I think. Andy wrote. Oh, hell no. There's dead bodies in there. Mark. Mark Ford is empty. This one doesn't have a name on it. So, uh, so it must be this one, I guess. Uh, okay, so let's go grab Mark. Marky Mark. Cavity fluid? Mm. I'm assuming we need a bucket. This looks like a... <laughs> fuck. It looks like one of those coffee things. Like, you would see at, like, a soccer tournament or something. They would have, like, the, the big jug of just coffee. Just pour yourself a nice, delicious cup of cavity fluid. All right, Mark. We are going to go for a... Oh, I didn't like that. Okay. I'm gonna go for a little stroll here. <clears throat> to return a body to its cold storage location, open the bay with the body's name, pull out the rack by holding the use button and walking backwards, wheel the gurney over to it, and the body will automatically connect to its holder. Cool. This one. Oh, okay. It's like a dragon, dragon drop. Okay. Oh my god, what in the hell is that? Do I go near it? <laughs> Fuck. This is fucking creeping me out. Okay. Mm. How do I turn this thing? Well, this is actually kind of difficult to steer. I, mean, I suppose it does have a dead body on it. I'm not sure I want to go that way. I don't even know if I want to do this because... Oh, that was loud. Holy shit. Put your... Put your... Okay. Oh god, thank god it's gone. Okay. Uh... Return body to cold storage. Okay. God. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. What are you? What do I do? What do I even... Like, do I... Hello? <laughs> oh. <sighs> okay. 
I have officially got the jeebs now. <clears throat> okay, I, I think I have returned the body, so... What's next? I guess maybe just grab the other one? <clears throat> that was fucked up. Do I do it? Oh, uh, maybe I have to pull it out first. Okay. Come on out, Grandma. Okay. This is very strange. Oh, hell no. Let's check you out. She's like not even concerned about this thing that flew at her face. Don't do anything? Just have to look at the body, is that it? Oh, oh rotate, okay. Weird. Okay. There's like a mark there. Oh, she's got a tattoo on her face? Grandma. Very progressive of you. Not that. That's nothing. <sighs> Don't see any... Anything out of the ordinary here? Oh, she got something there. Wonder if I have to go on the other side, maybe. Tattoo right on the face. I don't see anything strange there. Already got the tattoo. Center head. <sighs> For a second I thought she was going to open her fucking eyes. And I was going to lose it. Did I already get that one? Maybe I already found that one. Andy Roder. Record any distinguishing marks, enter markings into computer and print. Okay. Riverfields Network How To. To enter cadaver information, click the record system icon to open the program. Match the sections on your clipboard to the corresponding sections on the computer. Once all findings have been entered into the system, click submit to print out embalming records and file the records up front to begin the embalming. Oh, no. No way. It's, uh... Just, just the rigor mortis. Eighty-nine years old. Looking pretty good for... Tattoo... Brid? You mean bird? Rid. Right shoulder mole. Shoulder right. Left arm. Left arm. Arm L. Mole. Three of three. Perfect. Holy fuck. Fuck, this is the oldest printer I need to file the ever. copy up front. File the copy up front. Embalming report, a packet of mortuary paperwork related to the handling of the deceased. File up front so they are available if requested. Oh, God. Ma'am? Ma'am? 
hell no, we, we aren't going that way. I, I don't. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I don't think I want to do this. We're getting a little bit of lag spikes here. Okay. Let me... This is just going to keep going until I turn around. I don't want to turn around. God has left you. Oh, fuck. I am here. This is... Oh my god, it's so fucking loud. Oh no, oh no. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. Holy shit. We're fucking losing it. We are losing it, man. Okay. Did I did I even grab the Yeah, I put there. Time to embalm. Okay. Time to embalm. No big deal. We're just tripping balls. All right. Mix embalming fluid and pump. Glutaraldehyde, methanol, humectant, formaldehyde. Okay, now this is starting to seem humectant. So this must all be humectant. We'll uh, we'll throw a little <laughs> ultra swan in, a little dish soap. That should work nicely. Uh, what do we have? Thickwid. Jaundice. Formaldehyde, okay. Uh, we need some glutaraldehyde. Methanol? Do I need methanol? No. Yeah, I do, okay. And just the glutaraldehyde, hey? There we are. Oh god! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Bitch, I'm not letting you in. You stay out in the fucking rain for all I care. Hello? Ma'am? Oh my god. Hello? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, hell no. Not this shit again. Not again. Who are you? Okay. 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 Oh, nope. We are not doing that. I don't like this anymore. I don't... I don't want to be here anymore. <clears throat> I don't have any choice. What is in here? I can't do anything. It's nothing. Got the old key. Can't open the windows, can't open the doors. Hello?
Oh, it's getting slightly louder. Maybe this one? Nope. Okay, it was just the old key that we needed. Perfect. <clears throat> okay. She's she's still just standing there. Hello? Oh my god. I am going to throw you in the cremate cremator cre oven. Mark? Mark, you still here, buddy? Still with us? My hands are so sweaty right now. Unbelievable. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna open the window. Just, it's fine, just come in. You might as well just come in, lady. Where do I report that this is fucked up? Computer's locked? I mean... Yes, it probably would be locked. Until I log in. Entry 2. I'm gonna call somebody. I'm gonna call somebody on you. You gotta, you gotta come inside, lady. Oh my god, that that actually scared me. I fucking opened it myself, and I still got scared. You can come this way. Why, why are you doing this? I'm not turning the lights off. Make an incision in the carotid artery. Well, I can't because she's she's not uh, she's not laying down anymore. Andy, what am I supposed to do now? She's just standing there. Full access. That is terrifying. Hello? Andy, are you coming in? You're allowed to come in, you know. Not exactly sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. What does that say? The flash of fire and ashes of flesh will hair the coming of my house. Oh fuck no. 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 She, she wants you to go that way. I, I opened the window for you. I opened the thing for you. Oh, I am really sweating right now. I mean, I don't have any other choice, right? Thank you. 
Are we in a fucking mental ward somewhere? I do so much. We're just like imagining. Oh god. Just imagining this whole thing. Some kind of clay disc with markings. There's a second clay piece set inside it with a marking. to go back to bed. It's time to go to sleep. We're supposed to go there. Take this thing. any good. I think we have to we actually read what's on the clipboard? No, we can't. I mean, we can, but it's nothing different. Where are we supposed to go? We're gonna have to go back to the start, maybe? strange. None of these doors open. Looks like we're supposed to go to the bed. Okay, that doesn't do anything. It's like, oh, maybe we have to turn this around? So how do we take that piece out? Can we take the piece out? Take the piece out. This is very strange. Oh my god, what is... What is happening? Very strange. Very strange indeed. Just gonna clip through all these walls now.
It was just really weird. So some st There we go. Got the keys. Just get the get the fuck out of here. Okay, we are. All right, guess I'll head to the back and get started. Okay, quick inventory. We know, we know, we got it. At least I can keep Take track that. of things. All of her clothes off. <laughs> oh my god. All of her clothes off. <laughs> That's good. That is just, that is really funny. Okay, let's grab this. Grab this old mother. Okay. Very strange, like Oh no. It's very strange that um I don't know if I need to turn my mouse sensitivity up or something. Grab Dorothy. I guess gotta pull her ass out. Come on out, Dorothy. Get her all the way out. Oh, yes we did. Well, the person is not down the hallway this time. That is very strange. So that to me would indicate that the demo plays a little right, bit differently every time. Oh, got a mole there. Nothing there. Ooh, looks like she got a bruise on her arm. Scratches there. All there. Scratches there. Well, it is definitely, definitely playing differently this time around. We got that. Did I do the other hand? I don't think I did the other hand. It all looks okay. Okay, I think that is all. Dorothy, Dorothy Davila. 89. Got a mole on her head. Shoulder, left contusion. Oh, you filled them both. Okay. Right arm, contusion, right leg, mild abrasion, and a mole on the left leg. So far, not a lot going on here. I need to file the copy up front. OK. 
Okay. This is very strange. It's time to embalm. Oh, I should get the I should get the other key. I forgot there's another key in here. Mr. Delver's key. Okay, so what do we gotta do? Mix the embalming fluid. Making all this goddamn banging. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. The fuck was that? Okay. What else do we need? Methanol. Is this the methanol? Yes. God damn. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, old lady. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Oh, I can open this. Oh, what is this thing? Small notebook. Rebecca, you weren't supposed to find this yet, but I suppose you found my key. You simply aren't ready for this work. I can't let you live what I live. Not yet. Maybe in the spring, Raymond. Coming spring 2022. Jesus Christ. Holy fuck. Okay. The flash of fire and ashes of flesh will herald the coming of my house. Oh no. This again. Okay. Okay. It was slightly less scary that time around. Miss Owens? What? They've done an increase for you, so that's 300 milligrams now. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, okay? I miss you so much. I don't care about anything anymore. I don't want to be you. Please, just... I love you. Somebody, get me out of here! They're gonna... They're gonna kill me! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Save me! It's like a... hook shape with two dots on the bottom. Identify its name.
Oh shit, okay. I'm sorry. Oh. You killed him. No! God damn. Okay. So it definitely glitched out the first time we were playing through, but uh, this time it seems to have worked. Alright, we are going to make an incision in the carotid artery and jugular vein with scalpel and forceps. Maybe. We are going to try that if the fucking body is still there. Oh no. Super weird that there must be something going on, like graphically, that causes the game to slow down right there. That is terrifying. That is never not going to be terrifying. These are forceps here. No, that's a troker. Forceps. Forceps are like tweezers. Maybe in the other drawers? Oh, there they are. Oi. Oh god. Clamp tubing to both veins and connect to embalming. Get some tubing. That is tubing, isn't it? Down there? Why can't I pick it up? Where's the damn tubing? I mean, I can see the tubing there. Why can't I pick it up? There is actually a flashlight here. Crouch is control. Maybe I just need to crouch down? Yep. Just gonna close that up. Engage pump and let the body drain. Jesus Christ. It's so loud. I don't even want to be near it. Remove tubes and close incision. 
Is that door kind of open? No, it's closed. Okay. Oh, that was weird. Okay. Fill an empty IV reservoir bag with cavity fluid, then insert trocar into the abdominal cavity. Uh, reservoir bag. Okay. Gauze pads. There we are. IV bag used for infusing embalming fluids into organs and cavities. You know, somebody like a mortician actually has to play this game and, and just let the rest of us know if this is pretty legit. That's not it. Oh wait, what am I supposed to do? Fill an empty IV reservoir bag with cavity fluid. Oh, do I need something else? I've got the I've got the bag. Right? What else would I need? Oh god. No, I don't want that. Don't need any of those things. Maybe do I need to use the trocar? That's not it. Hmm. No, we've done that already. Oh god. What the fuck, man? I'm going to run over here. Holy shit. Okay. So I got the I got the bag. It's already filled with fluid though. Oh. Oh shit. I dropped it. I guess I thought I had to actually fill I thought I had to fill it up. Okay, I don't. They're already full of cavity fluid. I'm missing something. To fill body cavities, insert the trocar until it stops to begin the flow of embalming fluid. Once that cavity is full, pull the trocar back, rotate it, then reinsert at a new angle until the reservoir bag is empty. Oh my god. This shit's all fucked up. I'm missing something. What am I missing? I can't I can't use that here. I can't I can't use that here. Let me go back. Mm, what other tool could I need? Fill an empty insert trocar into the abdominal cavity. I can't I can't use that here. Oh no. Oh, not again. At this point, they're just fucking with me, right? Can't work with the lights off, friends. Why are you fucking with me? What am I missing here? I'm missing something. Okay. I got the bag, right? I got a bag. I already have one of those. Okay. Don't need that. Hold anything else. Uh, 
I don't understand. What am I missing here? I'm missing something. I can't use that here. I can't use that here. Okay, so... Missing something. I can't. I can't. I can't use that here. Hmm. Oh my God! What the hell was that? place up. It's a damn mess. There we go. That's better. I can't hold anything else. I can't hold anything else. Okay, so I don't need that. I'm missing something. But I have the trocar. I have... I wouldn't have to drop my clipboard, I wouldn't think. And then... Does it have to be in my hands? No. I'm missing something. I can't I, I can't use that here. Okay. I already have one of those. I already I already have one of those. Then I do not know what I am supposed to be doing here. That is what I had to do. That is terrible. That is so disgusting. That is nasty. I, that's unbelievable. Just, yep, just move it around and... Sounds like somebody pouring a cup of coffee. Delicious. Oh. Not you again. Oh. Pour pump cleaner into the embalming pump to clean it. Cleaning solution for cleaning tanks of embalming machines. Don't mind if I do. Oh, that was a loud ass noise. 
Just always running back to this corner. This is my safe place. Not actually, but... All right. This, this is the part that we definitely don't want to do. Come on, can't you turn the lights back on? Nope, we can't. Oh god. The door is open. The four seals have marked my coming. Holy the shit. I am here. <laughs> Hell no. Oh no, but they're behind me for sure. Can my name be so far from reach? Oh. Oh no. I bear no harm. I suffer no bondage but this rotten, weak, pathetic corpse. Look at me! Oops. Oh shit, okay. Look. At this pitiful flesh, I am serving to But this body is no longer mine. Get out of here. Oh, God. I have my prize. Oh, shit. Run, bitch. Run for your life. Get some help. is this Oh goddamn God damn coming spring 2022 more embalming, the story of Rebecca Owens, the history of the mortuary, banishing demonic entities, and so much more to come in spring of 2022. However, as a solo developer handling every aspect of the game, certain parts of development can take time, and I want the mortuary assistant to be the absolute best it can be. Quality will decide the final launch date. Keep an eye on updates and support my work. Voice acting on point. So good. The music also good. See pause music. Wow. Okay. I I have to admit, like this is basically a, a one man show from the sounds of it, and this is this game is incredible. Um the jump scares are amazing. They're they're, they're amazingly well done not super over the top like screaming or shouting in your face or not all of them anyway some of them are more subtle but terrifying moments honestly i think so far um between this game and martha is dead these two are like top of my list for 2022 horror games i am really excited for this game Incredible. I, I honestly, I, I don't know what else to say. Um, so much fun to play this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like if you did and uh, hit subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else. Um, it's going to be a bit before this game is out since we're only just closing uh, the end of 2021 right now. So we probably have a good six months before this game is out. I'd say at minimum. Um... But yeah, I am stoked for it. Hopefully you guys are too. Hopefully you played this and uh, enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, pretty cool, I have to say. Like, other than the, the small glitch in the, uh, like, mental ward area, um, starting the game over and playing through a second time, it did change. So I was surprised playing just a demo through the second time. That was pretty cool. Um... Really excited for this game. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else that's coming out 
whether it's Spooktober or anything going forward. And as always, guys, I will look forward to seeing you in the next one.